Hi Virgo, welcome to your love reading. This is going to be for Virgo, Sun, Moon, Venus and Rising. Keep in mind the messages are general. So they may or may not resonate. If it doesn't, you can always check your other placements to see what else comes up. What's going on with Virgo in love? What are the messages for Virgo? Okay, worth waiting for. Divine timing is at work in your love life. We have trust. This situation is calling for you to have faith. You have express your love, go ahead and make the romantic gesture. And we have honeymoon, enjoy the bliss of holiday time together. So, I see that you may have been waiting for someone, or for some, it could be someone that you already know, or someone you're waiting to come into your life. But I see that you're needing to trust the process. Let me see what's going on. Okay, go, go. What's going on with Virgo currently? Okay, <laughs> temperance in reverse could be could be dealing with a Sagittarius, some of you, but I see that you are kind of becoming impatient with a situation and feeling annoyed. <laughs> feeling like things are not going your way, feeling impatient. We have worth waiting for, so that's like reassurance that everything's gonna be fine. And so is trust, okay? That the stability is coming into your life. There's four of wands here. What is the challenge for Virgo? Ugh, the work, the work. Working on yourself, healing from some kind of breakup here. So I see that you need to heal from a breakup. A breakup in the past may have affected your self-esteem or just your energy in general. Um, needing to work through those things, bringing in this star energy, bringing more light into yourself, okay? After some kind of breakup that happened. All right. So, you may have been coming out of a stagnant relationship, one where there wasn't much movement, wasn't much change. Some of you may have stayed in that relationship longer than you should, may have felt stuck, and those are the relationships that you definitely would need to heal from, because more damage may have been done than needed to be, well, damage never needs to be done, but you could have walked away from someone a lot sooner, but may have had a hard time walking from walking away from someone and so there may have been a lot more pain in that relationship in the past what happened in the recent past for Virgo what happened in the recent past yeah a lot of emotional strain and a feeling of instability your emotions may have been really affected by a relationship in the recent past. This could have been a relationship with a narcissist or someone similar to that, but this may have really affected you and you may not notice it until you start dating again. So what's going on in the near future for Virgo? Wow. <laughs> Near future energy for Virgo. What can Virgo expect in the near future? Okay. You definitely need to heal from the unfair, um, what was unfair in the relationship in the past. So there may have been cheating in the past. You may need to heal from that pain so that you can move forward. You're going to gain a lot of wisdom when, when healing. And it's going to really kind of level you up. What's going on with the person that Virgo is currently dealing with? Okay, so I see that there's someone waiting for you. 
This is this looks like a soulmate who you haven't met, like someone who is wanting to meet their soulmate, and you could be their soulmate, but you guys haven't met yet, and they're just waiting for this exciting moment. But this could also be for some of you, the person who you may be separated from. But there's someone kind of waiting for you as well, waiting for this exciting reunion or connection. So let me see what's going on with the main spread. Okay. So Virgo. What's going on with Virgo? Person that they're dealing with or will be dealing with in the near future. What's the energy of this connection? Ten of Pentacles. There might be commitment on the way, especially with this honeymoon card. The Hierophant and the Ten of Pentacles. Why does this keep happening? <laughs> okay, Virgo. Yeah, you need to come out of this feeling of rejection, this five of pentacles, in order to attract the right person. Yeah. There is someone who feels like they've lost you. Could, be, could have been dealing with a fellow Virgo or a Cancer. Someone feels like they've lost you. Some of you may be leaving a marriage or a long-term relationship, but there is someone, they're feeling the five of cups here. So they feel like things didn't work out. They lost a chance with you. They're seeing you as a hermit. So they're seeing you as being with, withdrawn from them, you know? And for some of you, this may have been someone who you helped a lot. Like you may have helped this person a lot whether it was financially or just emotionally, maybe they were broken or like, I, I feel, I see this typical situation with Virgo where you're helping everyone and this person is seeing you as that, like this person who lost you. So you may have moved on from someone who was draining you, you know, and they're kind of hurt by that, but I feel like it was just draining you and not them. You know, they weren't really helping you, you were helping them. So I see that they fear that you may be done with them for good, like this may never move forward. Okay, they kind of want to get back to feeling confident and feeling, feeling in control. So I'm not sure of the type of person this is. Could be a person who just has a lot of struggles or it could be a narcissist. I just know that they were quite draining for you. So I see that their next move is the tower. So whoever this is, they may plan to act hysterical or do something drastic. Um, to get your attention maybe. This tower is really bothering me. I'm going to clear a fight soon. <laughs> but um, we have the seven of wands in reverse. Sorry, I got interrupted just now. But as I was saying, this person, this seemed to be someone who was draining you. And I don't see them, I don't see them moving forward right away. Like they're going to be in quite a stuck place without your help, without your support, without your energy. And I feel like there is someone, it's either this person is going to see that they are draining you and try to change or there's someone new coming in for you. But I do see that this situation became too much for you. Let me see what else is going on here. Why the Five of Cups? Why the Five of Cups? 
Okay. Yeah, it could be the ending of a marriage for some of you. Hierophant is here in reverse twice. This feels like someone who doesn't want to work or doesn't want to doesn't like to carry a burden. Any kind of burden, even if it's their own life. Why the hermit? Why are they seeing Virgo as being in the hermit mode? Could be dealing with a Sagittarius, some of you. <clears throat> but they're seeing you as kind of taking your time. You may have been withdrawn for a while. Why the King of Wands? They may still, yeah, tower. They may, they may still try to pursue you with this tower card and this knight of pentacles in reverse and the king of wands. I feel like this person is, they're going to keep trying. And I feel like you might be tempted because you may still have feelings for someone, for this person, but... I just see, all I'm seeing for you is that they've been draining you. And that they're upset about you not being around anymore. Them not getting the help that you were giving them. It could even be that they were just kind of feeding off of your energy. Why the tower? Why is this? Oh, there's a card flipped. Okay, queen of, queen of wands. Why the tower here? Yeah, this person might show up out of nowhere and they may want to work on the relationship. But you have to think about, you know, is this draining you? Is this taking from you rather than giving to you? You know, because I do see them coming forward with the three of cups. Wanting to reconcile, wanting to work on the relationship, wanting to take action. But are they giving this time around? Or are they expecting you to continue to give? Why the Eight of Swords? Moon. Could be a Pisces or a Cancer for some of you. I just see this person, because they don't know where to go from here. They're just kind of in the dark. And they're just trying to, to make this work or trying to get to you. What are the messages for Virgo? Moving on. Eight of Cups. Reach out. Change your focus and challenge in time. So two fives here. But I see that you're trying to move on. There's a love that is worth waiting for for you. You're trying to move on, but this person's still going to be trying to reach out. They're going to be trying to get to you. We have changed your focus and challenging times. Some of you may feel like you may know what's going on. Like you know that this person is subtracting from your life rather than adding to your life and you feel like the wise thing to do is to move on but they're gonna i feel like they're gonna keep coming at you because they have something to gain from this relationship and it's like it's either they start giving or you're moving you're moving on i see you got love here Healing, contracts and communication. So you may be, as I said, coming out of a marriage, but some of you, that you, you're healing and there may be love coming towards you, love that gives rather than takes, you know. There may be a new, a new person if this person doesn't start to give, I feel. So there needs to be better communication if this connection is going to work. But I know that you can see 
how this person is draining you. What's the advice for Virgo? A fiery climax approaches. Time for healing again. Bring love into the situation and be bold and make the first move. I feel like that's your person. Like they're going to keep trying to make moves on you. But you're trying to heal and you're trusting the universe for real love. They may start to really express their love, really tempting you to take them back. I feel like most of you are only taking this person back if, if there's a change, if you see that you're gaining something from the relationship rather than just giving your whole self and probably your money and everything. But this person, they, there needs to be balance. Hence the Justice card. There needs to be balance in order for you to feel that there is, you know, that there's hope. They're going to keep pursuing you, but you have the trust. Like I, I'm getting the message that if you feel that you have a soulmate who is someone else, someone new you've never met, trust that, like trust that feeling because it just may be true and it just may be worth waiting for. So if you really feel that this relationship could never be the one because you're giving too much and not getting anything, and you feel like there's someone out there for you, trust that feeling. Because it could be true. It looks true and I feel like if you are able to resist this person, as long as you see that they're not um, changing, the more you're able to resist them, the more the universe sees that you're trusting that there is more out there for you. So it's like not giving in to this person's charm and you know everything they're going to say to to pull you back in being strong and resisting and just knowing your worth and knowing knowing what's best for you and healing that kind of seals the deal for an actual soulmate to come in all right so that's the way i'm seeing it here that's the way i'm seeing it virgo you've been given too much and you need to start receiving all right so not to say that this person couldn't possibly change. I mean, they could, but you have to see the proof. All right, so this is what I'm seeing. I hope this was helpful. Check your other placements if you want more info. Like if you enjoyed. Thank you guys so much for watching, and I'll see you in the next one.